Hi, I'm Amaya. This is Sydney and Citizen. Tonight, we examine the new meat craze that's sweeping the nation, and we go outside to look at all this weather that we've been having. First, all these smoking teenagers, we caught up with a bloke in the street to find out what he thought about it. I think it's pretty good, to be honest. Um, not many of them smoke roll-ups, so it's more tobacco for me to have. That we would have thought with the, uh, obviously with more people smoking, they would have dropped the prices down. I think when people say supply and demand, you know, you usually think more supply, you know, cheaper. But absolutely not. Do you think that this is merely a sign of racketeering by overfed tobacco executives or do you think there may be some kind of government conspiracy at work? I don't play tennis so I could possibly comment. Next, as the citizen previously reported, horse meat is to be rebranded as LORP. We asked local pub diners if they were happy about eating LORP. From the horse, it's lovely. Um, you can ask for anything more, really. Um, it's a good price, good quality. That's what it's all about. Do you think that um, calling it LORP will have the desired effect of people disassociating it with the tiny little Shetland ponies that they see on the A428 roundabout on their way to and from work each day? I believe that it will cover up for a short period of time, but I think people will wise up to it. You can't hide shit like that. You know, it will come out in the public soon enough. So yeah, but I, I don't mind, it tastes good. And finally, the weather with Eggs Liar Benedict. Snowing outside. Hopefully it'll clear up by tomorrow morning when I have to get the bus to work. We all know what public transport's like in this weather. The bus is late when the leaves start falling off the fucking trees, so God knows what it's going to be like in the snow. Later this week on The Citizen, we catch up with Joey Cambridge here as he learns to play the guitar in a week. But I don't know if I can strum it. She phoned me back, she's like, yeah, they said, definitely don't make yourself sick. And it's like, oh, shit, I've just made myself sick. <laughs> <laughs>